My name is Leila Razavi. I'm the current Judge Constance Baker Motley Civil Rights Fellow with the Equal Justice Society in San Francisco. During my freshman year in college at UC Santa Cruz, I heard about um, CalPERG. And I was really interested in becoming involved, volunteering, um, doing something that was related to activism. And I heard that CalPERG was hiring interns. So I went, I did an interview with the campus organizer. They hired me on to come on every week for a set amount of hours in return for class credit. And I got a professor to sponsor me. And my first campaign was working on a petition drive to stop or prevent drilling in Anwar. And that was kind of my first foray into any kind of political activism. And I think I was about 18 years old at the time. But from there, I really kind of blossomed <laughs> into just doing all different sorts of activism. Towards the end of my internship, we went on a retreat, which was for all of the students and the CalPERG board. And they took us to this beautiful location in Big Sur, and we all went camping. And all of the members, like the adult members of CalPERG, the organizers and the staff were there, and we were able to vote on the budget and look over the priorities for the next year, and I was elected onto the board. And I think, for me, it put the whole thing in perspective because up until that point, it was just something small we were doing on my campus. But number one, seeing all these other people around the state and around the country that were doing the same thing made me realize I was part of something bigger. And it made me feel really proud to be part of that. But then voting on our budget priorities for the next year um, as a student, I mean, I was 18 years old at the time. And to feel like I had that kind of ownership in a nonprofit organization was huge for me. It gave me a huge sense of pride and a feeling of accomplishment, but it also made me feel like I was really bought into this process and I really cared about the outcome of the organization and making sure that we were able to do well and to reach all of our goals. So I think that's a huge shift for an 18-year-old to make, and I don't see any other organization doing that. There's no other group that really empowers kids at that age to be part of something that big. So I think it's really important because from that point on, you're not really gonna be the same. You're gonna have a different outlook moving forward in your career. By the time I graduated, I was running um, grassroots organizing weekend workshops and training other students on organizing skills. So I think the great thing about the Public Interest Network is it really equips you with a skill set so that then you can turn around and help empower other people as well. The more that I've moved forward in my career, the more I realize how much it was because of that initial start. And I don't know where I would be today if I hadn't done that. If I had never had that internship with CalPERG, I don't know that I would have gotten selected for the fellowships that I've gotten selected for. I don't know that I was a legislative staffer in the Capitol for a period of time. I was a lobbyist in Sacramento. I don't think I would have had any of those opportunities if it hadn't been for my work with the Public Interest Network. As I've gone on in my career, I meet people constantly who say, oh, I worked with CalPERG, or they have some tie into this network of organizers and activists as well. Um, so for me, I don't think I would have set off on the path that I did if it had not been for the Public Interest Network.